Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is January 4, Saturday before Epiphany. The Gospel said, Behold the Lamb of God. Let me read first and reflect on it after. But first... The first reading is from the first letter of St. John. Children, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. Indeed, the Son of God was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is begotten by God commits sin, because God's seed remains in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God, nor anyone who does not love his brother. Responsorial Psalm The response is, All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy before the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Alleluia, Alleluia. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to John John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, you are Simon, the son of John. He will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. Reflection The Gospel said, Behold the Lamb of God. Sometimes it doesn't take that much for us to believe, and other times our beliefs are tested by the devil. In the Gospel, John only needed to say, Behold the Lamb of God, and the two people who heard him followed Jesus. Do you need a lot to be convinced? When you started listening to the word, did you immediately believe, or did you need proof before you can believe? Here's the thing. If God isn't real, where did all these things come from? Look around you, not just the material things in front of you, but in nature too. If it did not come from God, where then? That's all for now. If you like these kinds of videos, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Have a great day and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.